Hey everybody, just a, a short clip this evening. Um, I'm testing a new light. Now I've got it at the moment set to have a, a, a very orange setting. I mean I can actually change the brightness and also the type of light. I'll, I'll give it a bit of a, I think like more of a, a, a lower, also the sort of brightness of it there. Down. Yep, you can see just how dark it is. So you can get an idea of what this like is what it's like, and I'm gonna actually give a review of this. I think in the coming days. I only got it today, so give me a bit of time to, to kind of see what it's like anyway. Just wanted to kind of also talk about that um, today I finally had a new key set come out, my toe ho 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 pronounce it, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's the Hawaii key caps. Um, so I've, for the last month, is it month? I can't remember, I have to check the previous videos about when I said I built the, uh, the, the keyboard, um, or put together the keyboard. I had some pudding key caps on there, and they were US based, uh, which is fine until you want to use the um, pound key for UK. Um, and also I wanted something a little bit more colourful, so I went, I almost bought the Sunshine, I almost bought the um, Malibu, I think is it? But I actually went for the Hawaii, um, because there were a, very, a bigger range of colour on the keys. Um, really interesting, the one thing I've noticed is that, um, at least on the keyboard I've got the light, it doesn't really shine through the letters of the, of the keys. So, it works better with having a light setting where maybe you don't have any lights in your key and, and if you press a key and you know the other light effect then um, you can see the keys a little bit easier apart from the F keys uh, which are very dark but it's really interesting nice nice ta tactile feel to it um, quite an interesting um, key cap set so um, I would have seen a picture by now because I would have put a picture on this video but yeah really colourful really makes the keyboard um, look a lot brighter um, without colours without lights even so yeah I um, just thought I'd share that just to show you the kind of change I'm doing to, to the, the built um, bespoke-ish keyboard um, I do have some ideas to get some parts and build another one but actually build it rather than actually go for a sort of a kit where you've got um, you know the same um, key um, switches as to, to the base. I, you know, I want to get like a base and a, a base plate and a, a board and switches and, and, and do it that way, you know, proper proper creative um, keyboard. So yeah, um, yeah, the Hawaii uh, key set. Um, I'll kind of give you more of an update, I think, further down when I've been using it for a while. As I say, the initial thought is that if you want it for light shining through, you, you don't really get a lot of that within this key set. Um, but it's nice and bright. Also, I'll give you an update on this light as I've used it more. Um, it's it's very small, it's um, rechargeable, because I do have a, a big soft box upstairs, which I don't often use. Uh, but this is actually a lot smaller, it's rechargeable, it's portable, it's, it's got a great range of, of light, so from, from a sort of a, a, a blue to, a, to an orange. Um, so yeah, um, uh, hopefully you can see from, from the um, quality of the video, because obviously the better the light, the better the video, um, just what it's like, and as I say, this is quite a dark room, as you saw from when I turned the light off. So anyway, more on that in the future, I think. So that's it. <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. It's quite late. I'm going to go to bed.